Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to get everything installed that's necessary in order to build Ionic Framework apps on an Ubuntu Linux machine because it's been a popular request to me. Um, so what this tutorial is going to cover is it's going to, it's going to show you how to install Java, Android, Node.js, Apache Ant, Apache Cordova, and Ionic Framework. Um, so what I've done is I've made a, a nice little script that's going to accomplish all this, but to run through it and explain what's going on, let, let me open it here. So what's going on here is um, first we're going to check to see what our architecture is of our Ubuntu operating system. Uh, whether it be 64-bit or 32-bit, because it does make a difference. Um, each 64-bit and 32-bit have different binary files that need to be used, and in the case of the 64-bit, it also has to have special libraries in order to compile Android apps. So this command right here will figure out um, what architecture you're using, and then I've gone ahead and I've populated the script with the latest version as of September 19th um, for Node.js as well as Android. Um, so the first thing that happens is we update. We update our Ubuntu repository list. And when that's done, we're going to figure out what we're running. If we're running a 64-bit architecture, we're going to download, uh, download the 64-bit Android and 64-bit Node.js with the wgit command, which is installed by default on all Ubuntu machines. We're then going to uh, untar it to a path that we defined, in which case uh, I'm installing it to the op directory. And then we're going to rename it because we don't want all these uh, periods and random characters. We want to keep it consistent. The thing that gets a lot of people when they're trying to set up Android on their 64-bit Ubuntu installation is you need to have the 32-bit um, compiler libraries installed as well. And a common thing that happened previously was you would install IA32libs, uh, but that doesn't exist in Ubuntu 14.04, which I'm running. But these, this command right here will accomplish um, accomplish pretty much the same thing. And if you're running a 32-bit, you're, you're basically doing the same thing as the 64-bit um, steps, except for you're going to install a 32-bit binaries and uh, exclude this 32-bit um, libraries because they're already installed. So because when you install Android, it doesn't install everything out of the box, you're going to have to give it uh, enough permission to be able to create folders and download files. Um, when it's done, it, it downloads about, I'd say, six gigabytes worth of files. So it, it's quite a bit. So make, make sure you have enough space for that. I almost did not on my virtual machine. Um, so after you've gone ahead and extracted and set the permissions for Node.js and Android, you need to go ahead and populate your profile on your machine. The profile gets launched every time you log into your machine and we want to make sure that the Android tools uh, and the Node.js is inside your path so that way you can go ahead and run them straight from the command line without any issues. Um, the reason I had to do this twice was because after you add these lines to the profile, the profile doesn't get updated until you log out of your Ubuntu session. So I need to temporarily export it into my path. Uh, once the script ends, um, so, so does this. So you'll still need to log out of your Ubuntu session in order for it to take full effect. After your path is set up, you can go ahead and install the default Java JDK and Ant. Um, again, I've added some flags so that way it's silent install, so that way there's no user intervention. When that's complete, you can go ahead and um, use npm and install Cordova and Ionic and we're stuck with some cleanup scripts after that. So let's go back to the virtual machine that I created. This is a 64-bit installation of Ubuntu 14.04 and I've gone ahead and I've already copied my script over. 
So after downloading the script, you want to make sure you um, change the permissions to 775 uh, because you want to be able to execute the script. The next thing that we want to do is very important. It We actually want to run the script in sudo because it does write to um, privileged directories. So we can't just do that under a normal account, otherwise we're probably going to end up with a lot of different problems. So let's start that by doing uh, sudo and then Ubuntu Ionic installer. Enter your password. So like I said, it's first going to update your repository list. It could take a couple seconds depending on the speed of your machine and your internet con connection. Now it's downloading Node.js and now it's downloading the Android SDK. It, it hasn't started extracting them yet, it's just downloading. Now because my internet's slow, I'm actually going to pause this and then resume when it's complete so that way no one's waiting around. So I'm resuming the video because it's, it's almost done downloading. Alright, so now that it's done downloading, uh, what it's doing is it's, uh, it should be downloading the 32-bit libraries that we're missing. And remember it's silent so it's not going to show us anything unless there's a problem. Shouldn't take more than a, a minute because uh, there's not that many. But after after it installs them, it should go straight to. Oh, it's installing them now. Must have been downloading them before. So now it's it's installing the Apache Cordova using npm. All right, now it's installing. Now it's downloading the Ionic framework, and after it downloads that, it's going to install it. It's now installing Ionic framework and it finished the installation and removed our um, our mess. Our, it did some cleanup. So with that done we need to go ahead and restart the Ubuntu session. So let's go ahead and, and log out. I'm going to log back in. Open up our terminal. Again, I have a slow virtual machine, so bear with me. All right, so we can prove that our path has the Android and Node items. So we can check out what version of Node we're using. Uh, we can check out what version of Ionic we're using. So it, it's not finished quite yet. What we need to do now is we need to launch um, the Android SDK Manager. Because what can't be done with command line is we cannot download specific targets um, of Android. And Ionic Framework requires target 19. So scrolling down in your, in your list, search for 19 
all we really need is the SDK platform. So select that. I'm gonna unselect some of this stuff because I don't I don't need any of this. I don't need the Android where this is just a virtual machine. So I'm gonna I'm gonna remove a lot of this. And I'm going to install. It's going to ask me to confirm. I'm going to click install. So the download's finally finished. It took like 20 minutes. Uh, I, I promise that it doesn't take that long when you're using a regular host environment rather than a virtual machine. Um, so now that they're installed, let's go ahead and close out of this. and clear our terminal and we're going to navigate to the desktop and we're going to test all that all this worked out successfully by creating a new project so it looks like I, the ionic part worked which is good Next we're going to see if um, adding the platform works. Looks like it worked. So now the ultimate test is can we build? Yep, you built successful. So to elaborate on everything that happened so far, um, I made a shell script, which I'm going to include on my website for everyone to download and see as long as instructions in write-up uh, format, so that way you can read everything that happened here. But it, um, the script, it, it installs Java, Ant, Android, Node, Cordova, and Ionic Framework. I went ahead and I tested this on a 64-bit uh, Ubuntu Linux 14.04 uh, version, which is common for failure for 64-bit machines. I showed that everything in the script installed successfully, and I showed that we successfully created an Ionic project and we built it. If you like this video and are interested in seeing what else I have to offer, Please subscribe to my channel as well as my written web blog. Thank you.